Hey, it's CJ from SmartKTai.com. Mozilla finally released the first beta of their mobile web browser for Android. Uh, it's called Firefox 4. You might know it previously as Fennec, as it was in its pre-alpha and alpha stages. So we'll go ahead and take a look here. Uh, when you first install and launch Firefox, you're greeted with a startup screen. You can easily set up your preferences for uh, syncing uh, bookmarks and passwords between your phone and computer. You can customize by installing add-ons or plugins, or we can jump straight into browsing. All right, we're going to start at the top. If we tap on this bar, it's called the Awesome Bar. It brings up this menu, which is called the Awesome Screen. So this is where you want to go to check out all of your bookmarks and browsing history and things of that nature. I'm going to go ahead and load up smartktai.com and see how the page renders. Mind you, this is over 3G. Okay, looks like it's done. We'll scroll a bit. Looks like it's nice and fluid. Very smooth. Notice over here where there's supposed to be uh, some video content, it doesn't show up because there's no full flash support. One thing that we do have that we didn't see in uh, very early builds is pinch to zoom. So no more double tapping to zoom in and out. We can just pinch to zoom. Looks like it works nicely. If you want, you can also double tap. Now remember, if you swipe to the side, we have this column over here for easily jumping between uh, open web pages. And we can start a new tab by pressing the button at the bottom. Very nice. So if we go over here to the other side, we can easily bookmark a page. Uh, we have some navigational buttons over here. And then at the bottom, we have our settings. So we'll go ahead and check out the settings real quick. The first button lets you change your start page. We can show images, enable JavaScript, uh, cookies, and other security settings. And at the bottom, we can set our username and password for uh, syncing. The next button is for downloads, and the last button is for all of our add-ons. So you can see that we have Google, Amazon, Twitter, and Wikipedia integrated search add-ons. Uh, we can search add-ons. Here are some other ones. Read later. That one looks like it would come in handy for uh, getting onto flights because it allows you to save pages for reading offline. Twitter bar allows you to send out tweets through the address bar, and then we can browse all of the add-ons. So not bad for this beta of Firefox for Android. We'll go ahead and press the menu button here. And this allows us to find in page and share page. So we'll go ahead and try that out. So I typed in Android. And you can see it brought us right to it. We'll check out the next entry, next. You can see that it works well. So we'll go ahead and jump out of there. And how about we go to another site? This is uh, smartktai.com's YouTube channel. All right, it's done loading. very nice. Before we wrap up here, I wanted to show you some other options. So if we go into the awesome bar and we wanted to search a keyword, we can actually press the menu button and we can choose to search with Google, Amazon, Twitter, or Wikipedia. So that's nice and simple. And another thing, if we press the menu button again, when we're in a page, we already looked at find in page. If we tap on share page, we can uh, share through email, Twitter, Google Reader, uh, Facebook, so some nice integration with those sites. Uh, so this was a look at Firefox 4, the first beta for Android. It's coming along nicely and we're excited to see the progress over the really early versions that we saw before. We'll update you when a new version comes out, so follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash uh, visit the site smartktai.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.